Hello and welcome to today's tutorial with me, Brent Galloway, freelance graphic designer. And today, I wanted to show you how to create a vector gear in Illustrator. I can remember back in high school, I've always had this fascination with the design of a gear. Uh, I used to have this little fake design business. And the logo and kind of the theme has always used gears in it. So I've always loved the design of a gear. Uh, I used to, I believe I used to make it in Adobe's Flash back then. But just recently, I, w I wanted to recreate one, so obviously I wanted to use Illustrator. So I came in here, um, I didn't want to just, I used to make them really slow and I had to copy each cog, but I found a really quick and efficient way uh, to make a, a gear in Illustrator. And so that's what I wanted to show you today. And all the design uses is just a few basic shapes combined with one main effect. So let me go ahead and show you. Uh, so as you probably notice, here is the final result of the gear that we're going to be creating here in Illustrator. So I'm going to drag this, drag this off to the side and uh, we will start from scratch. So first thing you want to do is obviously open up Illustrator and we're going to be using the rectangle tool. So if you click and hold, uh, if you don't already have it up here, it's uh, this one right here or shortcut M. Instead of just creating uh, a box or one of the cogs, we are going to just click once and put in the dimensions ourselves. And those dimensions are 50 pixels wide by 40 pixels high. And we just want a solid black shape without any border. Next, we want to grab the direct selection tool and click the top corner. If you hold shift and go on left, it goes in 10 pixels. Do the same to the left corner, hold shift and go on right. Uh, and the reason why we're doing this, it was we don't want the cogs to be just, you know, straight squares or uh, boxes. Kind of like here, how it kind of goes in a bit. It just gives it a cooler effect. And then go back to the selection tool. And then if you hold shift, we want to rotate this 90 degrees clockwise. You may be asking why, but I'll show you right now. So here's this main effect that creates this gear. If you go up to effect, distort and transform, and then transform, you'll get this dialog box. Now it took me a while to kind of play around with the settings and get this perfect. So depending on the style of gear and how many cogs you want, here's what you're going to want to play with. Obviously, we want to preview the effect before we okay it. And for this specific gear, we want to have nine cogs. So if we click out of that field in this dialog box, um, obviously you won't see anything yet. We want to do this little move here. Horizontally, we want to go negative 30 pixels. And as you can see, uh, here are all the nine copies that we get here. And then we want to go vertical 80 pixels. And the last step to create the cogs for the gear is we put a rotation on the all the copies. So we need to do 40 degrees. And there you have it. So we have the, the kind of the basic design of all the cogs. And this is that main effect. It's really quick to make these gears knowing this way instead of copying and rotating by hand. You may not get them perfectly aligned and all that. And doing this, it's really quick and really efficient on creating this gear. So if you want to do a different gear with less cogs or more, you can go ahead and do that and just play around with these settings. But this is such an easy way to do it. Uh, so let's go ahead and click OK and we will finish this up. Before we uh, put the ring in there, we want to go up here and go to Object and then Expand the Appearance. Uh, this is so we just don't have this one cog with the effect. Uh, this breaks it into each cog is its own object. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is use the ellipse tool. And if we hold shift and drag, you'll get a perfect circle. And if you hold the space bar, we can move this around. Um, you don't have to align it perfectly, just kind of cover up the bottom of each cog and release. And if you use the selection tool, we'll select both objects. And then under the align, we want to just align it horizontally and vertically. And if you don't have this alignment panel, just go up here to window and then uh, click align. And that'll pop that up for you. So the next thing we want to do is we actually want to cut out the, the center of this circle so we get a ring. So if you click this and do Command or Control C to copy, then do Command or Control F, and this will paste in the front. So as you can see, we have two here, and this uh, is pasted directly in front of this. All right, now what you want to do is hold Shift when you're resizing this. Um, instead of it going down to the circle, we want to resize from the center point. So hold the Option or Alt and uh, just scale this down here. And then if we select both circles by holding shift, uh, we want to go over to the Pathfinder panel and we want to minus the front circle with the circle behind it. And this will cut out the ring. And then just quickly, you know, select all of it and then we will unite them all. And there you have it. 
And before we uh, wrap this tutorial up, I want to show you one of my favorite things to do, uh, and that's to perfect an illustration in Illustrator, kind of like uh, like this gear. And then I will uh, bring it over into Photoshop and really bring it to life. So as you can see here, it's the it's the same gear that we just made. I just brought it here in Photoshop and applied a bunch of layer styles to it uh, to you know bring it to life and give it this kind of metallic look to it. Um, so it's really fun to do. So you may want to play around with it, you know, create some stuff in Illustrator and just bring it over into Photoshop. Just give it some life. So this does conclude today's tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave some uh, feedback down in the comments below. Let me know uh, what you liked and maybe what you want to see more in the future. If you go over to the original blog post on BrinkGalloway.me, you can scroll down to the bottom and you can download the original uh, Illustrator source file for this gear. Again, I am Brink Galloway and I hope you stick around for more. Thank you and have a great day.